Hello students! This is Teacher Yan and welcome back to our science class. So for today's video, we're going to talk about the importance of environment. You can find that on page 43 of your science book. So let's start with our vocabularies. So the first word is environment. Can you say that again? Environment. So all the physical surroundings on Earth are called the environment. Next, we have forest. Forest. A forest is a piece of land with many trees. Next, we also have nature. Nature. The nature is the physical world and living things in their natural state. We also have deforestation deforestation okay so what is all about this one it is the clearing or cutting down of trees deforestation is the clearing or cutting down of trees so those are our vocabularies so now let's learn what is all about the environment the environment is everything around us the environment is living things non-living things Living things that we can see and we cannot see with the naked eye. These living things can be natural or man-made things. These are examples of man-made resources. We have buildings, vehicles, roads, bridges, and everything that is made by humans. Now, we also have natural resources. What is all about this one? Natural resources are the things that we see in nature. So, for example, we have air. Air. Air is very important for living things to live, for us to have something to breathe in. Next, we also have soil. We use the soil to plant crops for foods. Next, we have water. Water. We use water for growing plants. We also use water for consuming or for drinking. We also use water for raising animals. So those are the uses of water. Another one is forest. Forest. The forests help maintain oxygen levels in the atmosphere. We use the woods in the forest to build houses and we use the herbs for curing sicknesses so these are the advantages of the forest humans and living things use natural resources for the livings in many ways for example fishing humans use water sources like fishing and also humans use forests like gathering forest products and also using the woods to build houses okay when the number of people goes up they will need to use a lot of natural resources as people try to get better life and build more industries they misuse and overuse natural resources like for example we have letting go of waste water into the river pollutes the water also deforestation Deforestation can cause climate change because the trees are being cut down. Next, we also have mining. Mining can cause flooding. Also, we have forest fire. Forest fire can cause air pollution and death of wild animals. Next, we have shifting cultivation. Shifting cultivation can cause soil erosion as well and we have hunting hunting can cause animal extinction this can cause extinction of endangered species these are the things and actions that we need to avoid on the other hand we should use the natural resources the right way so these are some ways to take care of the environment number one Show people in the community how important natural resources are and how it helps the environment in their area. 
Next, control and take care of natural resources and environment in their area. For example, we should stop hunting animals and stop cutting trees. If people cut trees, they should make sure to plant new seedlings. Also, plant more trees to help renew the forest. This will bring a balance to the environment, okay? So, planting more trees or forestation to increase the forest area. Number four, bring back to use natural resources to their original form. Okay, so for example, keeping water resources clean by picking up garbage from the river. Okay, so those are the ways that we should do and observe to preserve the environment. Now, it's time for our activity. So for your activity, you open your book to page 47. Page 47. So for your activity, we are going to do this all together. Get ready with your book and pen. Let's start with number one. Name two types of natural resources and describe how important they are to human life. So you have to name two types of natural resources and describe how important they are to human life. Okay, can you think of two natural resources? We have, for example, we have forest. A forest is a natural resource. Now, how is it important to human life? The use of food for building houses, the use of herbs for curing sicknesses. This is just an example. Okay, so the woods in the forest are used for building houses and the herbs from the forest can be used for curing sicknesses. Okay, so that is already one natural resource. Can you think of another natural resource aside from forest? We also have water, right? We also have water. So, a water is a natural resource. Now, how is it important to human life? What are the benefits of water? Okay. Okay, as I have said on my previous discussion, water is used for growing plants, for drinking, and raising animals, right? You can see that on my previous slide. Okay, so for number two, look at the pictures and answer the questions. You have to base your answers from the pictures on the left side. Number one, what was the change of environment in this picture? What was the change of environment in this picture? From this picture to this picture. In the first picture, you can see a pond, right? A pond and a lot of frogs. While in the second picture, the pond is no longer here. But instead, we can see a car and a road. Now, what happened? What was the change? Okay, an animal habitat was destroyed for building a road. Now, what was the effect of this change? What do you think is the effect of this change? What happened to the frog? So, since the road was built where the pond used to be, the frogs might have no food sources and might get run down by cars. Okay, for number two, what was the change of environment in this picture? Okay, we are talking about this picture now. So here you can see a dam and animals. What was the change? An animal habitat was changed into dam, right? Now, second, what was the effect of this change? What was the effect? of this change. Do you think these animals have place to live? All the land animals in this habitat would not have place to live because it's already transformed or changed into dam. Okay, so the animals will die. So, for your homework, you can find that on page 51. Page 51. So here you have to answer 
three questions. Now, for these three questions, you can find the answers on your book and also from this video. Okay? So, after answering your activities and homework, you have to take a picture of them and send it to the line group because I'm going to check them one by one. That's the end of this discussion. Thank you so much. Again, don't forget to answer your activities and homework. And always keep safe. Goodbye.